Hello everyone and welcome to the Red Men TV. I'm Steve Hall and today I was delighted to be joined by Paul Gorst of the Liverpool Echo for our regular journal inside show. Part of the show was about Arna Slot and exactly when is he going to be officially unveiled as the new head coach of Liverpool Football Club? Paul has asked Liverpool that very question and here's what he had to say when I asked. Far on and for those who don't know, obviously Paul writes on the Liverpool Echo, uh, the Liverpool Notebook. Uh, is this weekly you do this? Yeah, yeah. Is, yeah. It, is it Thursdays all the time or is it just mixed? It tends to change really, it just depends on, on what we've picked up during the week and, and what we can use for the notebook but um, yeah that's it something we, we've been doing well for, for months really yeah. absolutely I um, I asked the discord the, 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 of our Redmond Legends subscribers any questions for Paul and the likes of Simes and a few others the main question I got was when are we announcing slot, Paul? When are we announcing slot? <laughs> yeah. That this preferred that this question I asked them last night. Now the notebook came out earlier this morning and, and you've suggested in here, Paul, like you've been told potentially it could be as, as late as July before Liverpool do the official unveiling, I should say, they've already announced slot, but you know what I mean? Like they get to they introduce him to the press, he has his press conference, you guys and us maybe get the chance to speak to him. It looks like that might be uh, yeah, late June, July, which is actually quite yeah. That's, that's quite a long way away from the day he was announced that he was going to be taking over, of course, when Jürgen did that for us. Then the official announcement on June 1st, yes, he is now officially in charge. Oh, that was just a tweet and a post on the website. It feels like a long time, doesn't mm -hmm. it, for him to actually come and speak to everybody. I, I've noticed, don't you do, when, you, when you're on social media or on the YouTube, like, there's actually a lot of comments going, what's going on, why, why yeah. it's taking this long? I don't think it's anything to worry about, but also that is a, that's a significant gap, really, from saying this guy's going to be the manager, he is now the head coach in charge. I can't remember really wait, having to wait a month or so for a, for a manager to speak to people and get his message across to the press. That feels like a long time. Yeah, I mean, when Klopp came in, the season was already underway, wasn't it? So there wasn't really any, yeah, yeah, any time to waste. Um, but yeah, it was, you know, some, something we picked up earlier this week that um, Liverpool are looking towards a sort of early July unveiling. And you know, that, that could change, could, could move in towards late June. But at the moment, you know, nothing imminent is, is the message that seems to be coming back um, for, from everyone you speak to. and. You know, there are a couple of reasons for it. I think the, the people who put together these unveilings, you know, the people who sit down with, with Arna Slot and, and have the chat and the interview and, um, you know, the slick sort of social media rollout that, that they like to do, they're probably on an oldie, you know, yeah. after yeah, yeah. such an incredibly busy few months. With, he might be an oldie. Week. Yeah, yeah well, it really is, yeah. I yeah. mean, it, it's such a busy time the last few months with all the Jürgen the Klopp content that, that they did, you know, the, the Axe Round table, the... Um, the chat he had in his office with his coaching staff, the the, the letters piece that he did, where he read out the the letters from the fans and the um, just all the little things that he put together in recent months, you know, um, these people quite rightly like, like anyone else are due a fortnight in Ibiza or whatever it is they're going to do. So th th that is is part of it, I'm sure. But there's also, you know, the manager who's just left cited, you know, a, a draining of energy levels and. Um, Slot is going to be um, might be a little bit of an eye opener for them, the size of the club and, and the intense demands and the the pressure and the interest. So um, there's no real need thrusting that upon him too early. So you know he's getting settled on his side at the moment with his family and, and all that type of stuff, and um, just enjoying some time off after a busy season for himself in, in the other division. So I think um, there's a relaxed sort of attitude at the moment to this, and um, he will be unveiled. He will get all the bells and whistles in time. And it will be done properly, and and that will be done. You know, certainly not not this week, and it'll be a, a few weeks yet, by all accounts. Is there also something about like I don't know whether they're okay about this, but the fact that like there is a lot of international folk at the moment on on an international mm -hmm. tournament. There's probably there's, there are journalists elsewhere as well. Like yeah, yeah. The people like you said the, the bells and whistles. They want to make this massive, like. Not, it wouldn't get lost because it's listen, it's Liverpool, and of course it wouldn't get lost. But it, there is actually a Euros happening as well. I wonder if if that's maybe playing a part where, you know, some of the most prominent, uh, whether it be journalists or pundits or TV shows, they're all now focused firmly on 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 England or on the Euros as well. I don't know if that maybe plays into this, or am I just reading too much? No, I, I think you're right. Yeah, I, I do think Liverpool will want to give the the coverage, make it the best and biggest coverage that they can. You know, the man succeeding Jurgen Klopp, and, and they've given their trust to him with a three-year contract. So, why wouldn't you want it to be huge? And uh, I'm sure it will be in time. And and the Euros probably does factor into the thinking. You know, Liverpool announced slot on, on June the 1st when the Champions League final was was hours away. So I think, again, that, that was part of the thinking, just a, you know, a nice, subtle sort of standard message that, you know, he is now officially the manager. And, um, 
yeah, there, there, there are a few things at play here, but certainly from his perspective, I think it is a case of, look, this is going to be unlike anything you've ever experienced before, so just enjoy the next few weeks, have some time off, um, and then when it starts, that's when you find out the side, the real size of the club you've joined. Absolutely, I suppose, like I say, I don't know how involved he would have been, but Liverpool have made some decisions recently, whether he's been informed of them rather than a part of them, like we mentioned, Loan and Calvin Ramsey out mm. deciding to offer Adrian a contract, all these other things. I mean, I, I'm, he, he, I'm guessing he's been at least included in these conversations as well. It's not like he's not working, he might be working from home or working <laughs> from his holiday or something like or whatever, but I don't know, there's been... I've actually noticed in the last few days, and I think you wrote it in your um, in, in your in your PCA social media. There's been a wash with questions um, with why, why it's only been this subtle media thing. Or is this just maybe people getting a little bit worked up over nothing? Or can you understand why people are like, actually no, we want this now. Like where is it? We we, we really could do yeah. it in a, in a big summer of change. This, just get this done, get them involved, get them out the way. Let's let's have it all done now because the more you the more, the longer you leave it, the more questions or more theories, conspiracy theories people come up rather than just thinking actually you might just be on a holidays. Yeah, I mean it's not just him now, is it? It's um, it's pe- people who who work around. These sorts of events, um, they're having time off as well, and, yeah, yeah. and it's well earned. To be fair, you know, working for Liverpool is—I um, know from speaking to people who work there—it's it's a twenty-four-seven job in, in certain roles. So yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think that there's anything too much to worry about. But I can understand the um, the desire for fans to want to hear from from the new manager, and, and fair enough. Um, but I also think there's um, in terms of the optics, I think maybe there's some. School of thought where they want to mark a little bit of space between the the previous era and, and the one that's coming up. So so this sort of like dead air time, if you like, now is is that and um, you know Klopp's being given a send off with with all these sort of bells and whistles and huge fanfare and and that was um, was sort of made um, book ended wasn't it with, with the show at the the MS Bank Arena was it last week that's true. Um, and now is a little bit of a little bit of quiet time before we go again. I know a lot of there were, there's a lot of staff at Liverpool involved in that event as well. I know that for a fact, and mm. I can confirm having pecked the heads of these people to, to speak to all the coaches like we did. They do it, and they have they have no well aimed breaks. So that that is probably more to do with it. Um, are you looking forward to the end of ch- just trying to sit down and speak to yeah. him? Because yeah. I was thinking, in terms of like sometimes I know Jürgen said this publicly and his head got, got wrecked in the end with, that, with press coverage and stuff, and <laughs> and as we say, only times you can say the same thing to the same fellas, but actually. There's a lot to get out of Arnold Slot now. Style of play, tactics. Are you going to fit to us? Are you going to? Are we going to fit to you? All that kind of stuff. You must be looking forward to getting a chance to get. I'm sure you will. As in your job at the Echo, get a chance to just sit down, and ask him a few questions. You must be looking forward to it. Yeah, really looking forward to um, to to a new voice and, and getting in front and, and asking different things. You know, you know, like you say, there was some there was some periods there, particularly um, when they, they just missed out on the quadruple season where they played sixty two or three games and you were at a press conference every two or three days and it was like well. What what do we ask today? You know, Liverpool have, Liverpool have won again the other day. Um, Is he still injured? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Injury updates and, and whatever else. And um, I could see why Klopp was getting a little bit exhausted by it because that was um, just one of his many daily tasks, and he, and he was doing one every sort of eighteen hours seemingly. Uh, but this this is a, is a new a new era, a clean slate, a, a fresh voice, and his own ideas and everything he says now is is um, is fresh. You know, when when, when Klopp is um, you know, as newsworthy as they were when he's kind of berating the twelve thirty kickoffs, or he's talking about the the, uh, the pressure on the players, the injuries, and all that type of stuff. We've heard all of that before. Um, yeah. But everything Slot says now is is new and fresh, and um, there's going to be loads to write on, loads to report on, and analyse, and um, that's what it's all about. I want to meet him and do the Spiderman meme with him because I do think we look pretty similar. That's that's my aim. <laughs> if, I can, if, I, if, if you can box that off for me, say, <laughs> Steve from Redmond just wants to point at you and get a picture with you. If not, I mean, I'd like to speak to him, but if worst case is, I definitely think I could use that if, if needs be.